Hey guys, how's it going? Superfly Kev here, and welcome back to uh, Wolfenstein and New Colossus. Uh, last episode, we basically we took this thing and we um we essentially blew up a um an entire town and a whole facility where Area Fifty One was. Okay, and we're back home. Probably not gonna end well. It was quite a different time back then. All right, Washington urges cooperation with li liberator uh, liberator squads. December twenty third, nineteen forty eight, Los Angeles. Little more than days have passed since the devastating bomb hit the heart of New York prompting the total surrender of the United States of America to the forces of the German army. The German troops have descended onto Washington. They are now sending what they call liberator squads across the country to ensure a smooth transition of power. I urge all Americans to cooperate with the German forces, said the president in a radio speech yesterday. Do not take up arms. Do not try to act out in any way against the orders of the German army. We do not want any more bloodshed. The, the atom bomb that devastated New York was a wake up call for all of us. The war is over. Yep, that's what would have happened if basically the Germans would have had the atom bomb instead of the Americans. The Germans would have been in charge. Would have been a better future for everybody? Who's to say? I don't know. I live in this timeline, not in that one. Probably not. I mean, they did do some atrocities back in the day in, in real history. And of course, in this history as well. Okay. It's a nice little farmhouse we have here. All right, there's something on that tree. I'm just looking around, making sure that I'm not missing anything. What's up here? Oh, nothing. Just more of the nice scenery. Wait a minute. There's something here for me to interact with. What's this? Am I burying the dog? Yeah. This life is a hardship, Billy. It is long and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began.
Yeah, that. I really hated that part. I got really mad at the very beginning of the game whenever the uh, BJ's father killed uh, old Bessie over here. The family dog. Okay, so we checked the barn. There's the house. And there's also the tree. So let's check the tree out first. What the hell is that? Is that just a rock? That's just a rock. Alright. I do remember now that the father was complaining that, uh... Are you out there somewhere, Billy? Inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Like I was saying, I do remember his father in the beginning of the game getting mad at his son because he was getting sweet on an African-American girl. Okay. Some it's like s something metal or something grinding. Mama, Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? And it how we they followed me. They they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to the parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Aunt Wilma's letter. Dearest Rip, I hope that you are holding up well and cooperating with our new administration. I must say, things are looking much brighter for us now. Your uncle has been promised a new job by the regime. A janitor at the new SS building in the city center. He's very excited. It's a far cry from the machine operator job he used to have before he was fired all those years ago. But it puts bread on the table. So how Sophia? I imagine that she's worried now considering the circumstance. I hear the Germans have some issues with the Jews. But I bet if she cooperates with them, everything will be okay. Anyways... We hope we can visit you again this summer. Love, Aunt Wilma. Oof. Yeah, I hope our mom's okay. For BJ's sake. I mean, it is a possibility that she could be dead. Fragments of old news article. The larger the mob, the harder the test. And some... In small areas before small electro rates, a first rate man occasionally fights his way through carrying even the mob with him by force of his personality. But when the field is nationwide, the fight must be waged chiefly at second and third hand 
the force of personality cannot so readily make itself felt then all the odds are on the man who is intrinsically i guess that's how you say that the most devious and mediocre the man who can most easily adeptly dis uh, disperse the notion uh, that his mind is a virtual vacuum the presidency tends year by year to go to such men as democracy is perfected the office represents more and more closely the inner soul of the people we mo we move towards a lofty ideal on some great glorious day the plain folks of the land will reach their hearts desire at last the white house will be ad adorned by a downright moron i prefer the term maroon but it's pronounced moron <laughs> it's a basement mm. should i go upstairs first That sound is really odd. Ooh, it's a cockroach on the ceiling. Jesus, this looks like a horror game now. I'll be in the grave rotting away. And still a better daddy than you. Oof, burn. I always feel like when you're born, you're basically, you're supposed to surpass your parents. At least that's what a good parent should want from their child. And I don't have any of my own, so like, but that's what I would just imagine that if you're a parent, you know, you want your child the be best here. Upgrading my weapons. Gotcha. But you know what I mean? For all you dads out and moms out there watching this. Oh shit, what do I want? A magnum. Higher damage output, increased recoil, and it's louder. Would that affect the... I don't know if that affects the, 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 the suppressor. Doubles up the machine pistols. Uh, the shotgun. Ricochet. Causing damage to nearby enemies. Okay. Doubles up the magazine capacity. Rapidly loads all three barrels. Ooh. I want that. It makes me shoot three shotgun shells at once. That sounds hella devastating. Weapons. Young Billy's note. The paper is bloodstained and wrinkled. I swear I will be a good boy. I swear I will not disobey my... Father. I swear I will clean up my room. I will so swear I will clean up the dishes. I swear I will act like a goddamn man. I swear I will not disgrace my people. This text was written by an adult. Billy Blaskowitz. The name was written by a child. Ah, uh, so it's a contract. His father made him sign. Well, it's all bullshit anyways. Is that it all down here? I think so. Yeah. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm sorry the video looks a little bit choppy. I don't, you know, I I tried testing it. I'm trying out. I'm trying out a new render technique, using my CPU instead of my GPU, so like that I don't get errors on encoding and stuff. And uh. One second. And so far, performance looks fine, so... It should be good. I mean, this game has always been pretty taxing on my hardware, even with the first Wolfenstein. Uh, the New Order. It's always been super taxing. Inspect the BB pellets. Son, I have tried reasoning with you, 
I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? I think that's the only nicest thing his dad has ever done for him so far. I mean, besides him sleeping with the gun and all. I don't know. It was a different time period back then. And plus, BJ looked responsible enough. He still has all his limbs and his head is still good. So, obviously, he didn't shoot himself. All right. Well, I think that's all there is to see. So, let's let's get out of here. The ring is still here. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Pawnee Lake now. I heard on the radio you've been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a buck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you is headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like it wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing. What are you, some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She 
gone. When what happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. I didn't expect to cut off his arm. Can I get up? Oh shit. Well, there goes my dad's body. Fuck him. Oh, I know that voice. Right, give me one second. The Uber Commandant Wichler's letter. May 1st, 1949. Her Rip Blaskowitz, thank you for expressing your willingness to cooperate with us. The more information you provide with provide us with Jews and degenerates, their location, and so forth, the more rewards you will get for showing your loyalty. There may even be a chance to get you a, a to get a new place for you. In the future, I suspect there may be very many vacant mansions that need to be occupied by those who are loyal to the Reich. I will look into these Frank and Eric uh, Archibald characters that were troubling you. Looking forward to hearing from you again, Herr Blaskowitz. Hi, Hitler. Uber Commandant Eric. Whistler. So yeah, he was selling out people. What a bastard. Alright, um, where do I go now? I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Here maybe? Oop, that's health. This looks like the way. Oop. Come on. Okay, I got that one too. Alright, here's another hook. This is insane. This is insane. Oh shit. I'm about to die. Freaking Terminators, man. T-800s. Oh. I'm gonna die. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Jeez. Okay, I'm back. Oh, where's my shotgun? This is not my shotgun. But it works. I hear robots. No, where's the shotgun? There, I don't think... There it is. Okay, is he the only one left? I think so. I have no armor left, okay. Okay, that killed him. Health. Health. He probably dropped some armor pieces on him. There we go, we got this big motherfucker now. Alright, let's cut this. Alright, is that it? Yeah, we're free falling. Why did I come here? I should have run home. Do you, Hoggy? Yeah, we should have gone back to the submarine. He is right. Oh, man. I'm screwed, dude. That's a big needle. I need you to rest now. When I prepare a ceremony. Oh shit. That's not good, man. I'm actually nervous about what's gonna happen now. I know who this is. Oh, what is this? The... Take that hood off of him. Schnell, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, come on. How is he supposed to talk to me when he's, when he's got that, that, that gag thing covering his mouth? Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. I'm sure I do. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. 
So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world. So it's kind of the only play we got. I right? figured. I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer. That pissed me off. <laughs> hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him, and I'm gonna shove this little number right in the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? I don't know, man. Let's get this freak show on the road. Go. Ouch. Fuck. That hurts so bad. Uh, oh, up. my God, dude. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. Okay. We make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Okay, man. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> He was pretty stupid. As soon as he walked into the building, Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich. Open your mouth. Open. If you're gonna shoot me, just fucking do it, man. Delicious. How does it taste? Scrumptious. Of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh, <laughs> you hear that? It's my attack. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so boy. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. You didn't deserve Which to get shot like that, man. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property, aiding the enemy, torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad, and high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil, and it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. <laughs> Bailiff. Oh, shit. I'm really doing this? 
Okay. Yeah, I killed a fucking judge. I thought I couldn't move. This has to be like a dream or something. I have no ammo. I have no ammo. Come on, reload. Oh. Okay, there's a dude shooting me up there. It's pretty hard to see with all those fog. Reload, man. It's not the fog, it was the freaking... The sun rays. Oh God. Okay, I better get out of here because they keep throwing grenades or some shit at me. Yeah, they keep throwing grenades at me. Get up, Blaskowitz. Wow, you guys are gonna kill me anyways. Come on, can I jump over this? I can't. I'm dead. Okay. Damn. Okay. I wasted all of them there. Ooh. There. I want this with me. To get all the health I can get. Come on, you gotta face my problems head on. Just like my daddy taught me. Cool, we did it. Oh. Oh, fucking dog, get off me. Ammo. Jeez Louise, man. Not only know where to go. Oh, I got Terminators behind me. I'm almost dead. Fucking A. Anybody else? Something's coming. I hear something big. Alright, let's detach this. Is there any health in here? There is. Let's get all this armor. I 
I hear something rumbling. I don't know. It might be just the environment. And there was a guy who hid right here. Oh, there he is. Am I done now? Alright, so where do I go? Yeah, that's what I kept hearing. Oh, there's another one coming. There it is. Unlike your friends, you actually turned around. Escape. There it is. Alright, I'm taking this with me. Oh, is there more ammo in there? It looks like it. Armor 2. Oh, nice. I got myself my shotgun back. Awesome. Um... Ooh, this one is in red. I like this one better. Oh, it's a, it's a flamethrower. No, never mind. I want the machine gun. This has to be a dream. Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make it cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you are the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. I fucking knew it. It was too good to be true. Way too good to be true. Well, today dreams. Stolen. My cold winds of reality. He's gonna chop my head off.
We would have been so good together. Fuck you. Tony, you're breaking my heart. The old and the weak are doomed. Just do it. Killed BJ. Wait, what happens? Are they gonna catch my head? Here at the Kindleck, we have less than seven seconds. Okay, ready? This is insane. Steady, march for button. Drop it. Anya, now. Hurry. We have three seconds. We need to give his brain oxygenated blood, or it will die. Ouch. So they need to give me a new body now. This game is insane, dude. I didn't know this that what? I'm confused. I didn't know they were gonna chop my head off. Person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off. Mr. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anil, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Anya! This is crazy. Oh. These are very rare Nazi company equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one. Blink twice for the one in the middle. Blink three times for that over there. Okay, the harness, which I guess is more armor. Battle walker. Oh, I mean. Oh, I didn't let me read it. Oh, god okay, damn it! Ingle, I, I held the work. button. Okay, whatever. See you soon. I guess we're going with the battle walker legs. Jesus! I just pressed E and like it just flashed in a second. Cat monkey. Powerful. 
Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. Duly noted. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Uh, no, have you seen Getzelbe? What's to give you? What's to give you? Shim shim. I keep the shim down. There's the mask of each. How I look? Like a new man, Yankel. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this. Same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation. Not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body. Something like this. It's hot! Let's make yours! I feel the same way. I like Max. Now, I, I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. Go on, Mr. Blaskovich, put it on. Okay. All right, guys, yes, we'll put on. Yingle, pick it up and put it on. I got gotcha. you. Like yeah, I bet I will too. We'll do that next episode, guys. Um, man, this game is a. It's a roller coaster of emotions. I'm just gonna say that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the um, the series. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, it's a lot of twists and turns I didn't see coming. But um, but anyways, um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. It really motivates me, um, you know, making content for you guys. And until next time, bye.